Twilight books. I love those. They were like my life for like four oh, years. Oh, so cool. Thanks. I actually wrote those. <laughs> no, you didn't. Stephanie oh, Meyer yeah. wrote those. No, I, mean, I am Stephanie Meyer. That's cute. <laughs> no. Um, this, well, I, I would mean, know Stephanie if I saw her. Well, I don't know how to prove it to you, but I, I mean. How did Stephanie come up with Twilight? Oh, I had a drink. You could have gotten that from any interview, though. It's probably true, but. Well, it's, what's the host about? Um, it's aliens. It's really awesome. You could have read that on Amazon, though. Like, okay, I, I know. Hold on. Um, right here. See, I have a picture. What? Somewhere in here. No, really. <laughs> this is right there. Oh, yeah. Um, did you? S hey, hold on. This hey, is Jake. Jake, come here. This, this is Jake Abel. He was in the host. You remember? This is Ian. I um, mean, he took this picture of me. That's me, right? Oh did my god. Um, I. It's, I have no idea I, who you are. Um. Oh, it... Oh, Hello! I'm Christine, and today I'm here with special author guest Stephanie Meyer. Hi. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming out and hanging out with me. Of course. I'm having like a really hardcore fangirl moment right now. <laughs> I'm very excited. So the first thing I need to ask you about today is, of course, life and death. When you came up with the idea to do that, when you started writing, what's it been like keeping this secret? Annoying. The last <laughs> question. I thought it was a good idea originally because we had put it out there, the cover the title, I think a lot of people would have assumed that it was Midnight Sun, which I really didn't want to get everybody like super hyped up. Yeah, that's different. The crushing, you know, no, it's not. I didn't want to be mean. So I thought, we'll just keep it quiet. And then when it's out, it's out. Thinking that would not be a difficult thing to accomplish. <laughs> no, but the idea was just from doing signings when people would say, you know, Belle's kind of a damsel in distress. And it would really irritate me because honestly, you think you could do better? These people are all superheroes and you're going to do what? Mm -hmm. And so I thought, you know what? And I always said it, it would never have made a difference if she was a boy. So, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Totally. How fun was it to watch everyone's reaction that day? Um, well, I didn't get to see a lot of it. You know, I, I try and stay off the internet yeah, and everything. Yeah. So um, I heard some things, but actually my the one I that I was shown was your reaction, which was <laughs> hilarious. And I wanted to <laughs> put a you. clip on my website because I thought you had the best description of what the book was. You were in the car and you're like, he's a boy and she's a girl and the whole thing. And it was it was perfect. It was just <laughs> right what it needed to be. Thank you. <laughs> The cover of Life and Death. So yes. it's the green apple. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, did you know that that was the cover you wanted immediately, or did you brainstorm a few other covers? Um, that was, I, I figured that was the right way to go. You know, it's visibly different. Like, you right away, you know it's not the same thing, but still close enough because they are essentially yeah. the same person. I didn't think a boy would hold an apple like this, though. <laughs> so I'm like, how does a boy hold an apple? And we, and we did it differently. Um, that's actually really funny. <laughs> this is how boys hold boys apples. Boys hold apples like this. <laughs> crush them in their manly hands. I want to ask you about the original covers, because they're iconic. Now. Did you have any input in those covers in the beginning? Um, I did with some of them. Um, with the first one, yes, we did a lot of back and forth. The first cover was scared me. It was like black vinyl with a zipper. Oh my god! Yeah, this a Twilight <laughs> on the zipper. I'm like, what is this thing? It was it was creepy. The Apple when we found an image that they just found a stock image of someone holding an apple. I'm like, apples are cool. Yeah. You know, apples have yeah. a lot of started a lot of problems. Snow White. And yeah. Helen Adam Troy. And there's all. all uh, Helen, yeah. So I thought that was perfect. And then with the, I didn't really have any say over um, New Moon. That one got away from me. But Eclipse was my idea. I oh, how cool. That turned out, cool. So. And then the final one as well. Yeah, the final one's awesome. Just born. <laughs> Throwing back to the Twilight movie release, this is something that I always wondered about. When you heard that they wanted to do that twist at the end of Breaking Dawn Part 2, oh, that what was, was my your, idea. That was your idea? Yes. Okay. I was having dinner with the writer. Okay. And we're, Melissa what and I were at the keg in Vancouver. We're already filming one of the other films and we're working on the script. And they wanted a fight, you know. And I'm like, how do we do this in a way that doesn't undercut the story and so we're like what if it's a vision now it doesn't work with the rules because the wolves are involved so we mm -hmm. knew that we were breaking the rules and we decided to just throw that throw that out and, and go for it yeah um and and then it was great so like who can we kill <laughs> how badly can we kill them because we can kill everyone yeah now. it was so exciting i'm sure you were in the theater for the premiere yes. and everything it's yes. just crazy when carlisle's head came off that was uh, the best it was everyone gasped was fantastic. And i was just in tears who felt like seth fell down the crater in the middle of the no, or Leah the does. Leah. Seth, Leah. Seth 
goes Seth back got, to Hume and he gets crushed yeah, to death Seth, by Felix. Okay. Well, and when in the brutal. script, we actually killed everyone. Oh like, my Rosalie gosh. Rosalie had a death, Emmett had a death, they all did, but time-wise and just budget-wise, yeah, we didn't do yeah. all of them. We did the ones that we thought were the most... Is that what, have, what you think actually would have happened if... Actually, went, yeah, um, that's kind of where we went from. My theory is that if it came to a fight, I do think Arrow would have got his, which is what stops him from doing it, mm -hmm. but I also think that there would not be very many Cullens left standing. <laughs> that, would that would have been very, very sad. Way to end. Yes. If your characters were YouTubers and made okay. videos, I was just wondering what you think they would do in those videos. Like Alice would probably be like a fashion YouTuber who talks about clothes. Yeah, yeah, I could see that one. Like, and, and Rosalie would have some kind of car log <laughs> that she cool. would be into. What would Bella do? And Bella would do a, a book blog. She yeah, would be, she'd, be a, she'd have a book blog. Charlie would go and have a fishing site. Oh, that'd like be all cool. The secret holes, you know. Um, I mean, Carlisle would have some big medical thing that was like super over our heads, and we would never go on it because it'd be so boring. Medical advice. Esme would have an architectural like oh, yeah. facades and, and floor plans and all that fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, there'd be a lot of fun things they could do. Yeah. What if would they were Jacob really do? into being a very character. Oh, Jake would probably help Rosalie if they could ever like get their relationship together, <laughs> and he would do the the cars with her. So, what can you tell us about this book that's coming next year? Do you, can you tell us anything? I'm not is there really anything? supposed to. I mean, it's it's an adult novel. Okay. It's not YA. It is has no real nothing supernatural. It's supposed to be set in the world that we live in, although there are okay. some enhancements. And it will be in the thriller section here, not oh, mystery, but thriller. I interesting. I got to kill a lot of people, which, That's if so you notice, is kind of a fun thing for me. I yeah. really enjoy because yeah. not that many people died people. in Twilight because they're all yeah. vampires. I only got that to kill people every now and then. So and hard to kill. It's like I want to shoot more people. I can't shoot vampires. That's not fun. <laughs> Yeah, no challenge in that, really. No, no. Yeah. The movies had epic soundtracks on all of them. Yes. And I'm just wondering if there's a song from each of them that kind of stands out to you that really encaptured the book. Um, let me see. With the first one, uh, it'd have to be a uh, supermassive black hole, which I thought was really nicely fit to the action. You know, sometimes yeah. in a movie, um, a song will kind of jar you or whatever, and sometimes there's just that synergy where it's exactly what it's supposed to be. And I think in the second movie, it was the Tom York song, um, Hearing what damage yes, that, they, that yes. they play during the, which I would have never. When I heard that song, I would have never thought this is an action scene. But oh my gosh, it was fantastic. New Moon soundtrack was maybe yeah. the best of all of them. I feel like it, it was, was one great. of my favorites. Yeah. Um, trying to think with the others if they had any that like really jumped out. My memory's no, horrible. I'm trying to think through them. The I'm all yours. That was kind that was of, nice. Was yeah, that was nice. How it kind of, and it kind of went into the song. At the yeah, end. because they'd worked together with yeah. it, and and it, it was that was that was nice. But I know there's another one. Breaking Bad yeah. yeah. had the great wedding music. Yeah, like Sleeping at Last and yes. Carly Burwell did together, which was beautiful. Yeah, there were a lot of beautiful songs on both of those. Now, The Thousand Years, of course. Yes, yes, <laughs> that one was a classic. So you're an author and a producer now. Yes. What is your favorite part of each one, and what do you think is the most challenging part? The book's challenging part is time and, and then hitting those walls where you can't write through them, which drive me nuts, yeah. and I wish they had a pill that just made that go away. <laughs> Writer's block pill. Yeah, someone should that invent that. That would be that. awesome. Um, and then with the movies, the compromise is hard, because you know, you can see in your head, you know exactly who, you know, you yeah. read a book, and you know yeah. who should play the lead role, right? And then they don't get that person, you're like, why? And there's a million reasons why they couldn't do that. And then it's never quite right, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Well, and there's, like I said, budgetary restraints. Yeah, you can't blow things up. So you can't hard. do things. You know, you have this much money and you can't do everything that would make it perfect. And mm. it's sad. Yeah, no, I went to film school and I was like, I can never be a producer. It's just like so much organization. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> is there any book right now that you just recently read and you think you would really love to make well, it into a movie? The one I've been talking about, I don't know if it... If you could make it into a movie, you would have the writing is so beautiful. And that's what's really the catch up. When you read a hard. beautiful story, it's, it's Far, Far Away by Tom McNeil. Okay. It's a dark fairy tale. Have you read it? I haven't. You have to. I was sobbing. I, it. I mean, I was tears down my face. And it's it's so much, like, it tells you on the first page, basically, this story is going to get darker than you think it will. And you're like, yeah. And then you're reading along, and it's still, you're like, whoa, where did this come <laughs> from? It's amazing. When you had your blog and you would recommend anything, I would just, like, immediately into yeah, my card on I Amazon. I kind of miss that. I haven't gotten, I haven't done that in a while, but it'd yeah. be nice to sort of, like, music, too, because yeah. there's all kinds you of You introduced me to Muse. Like, okay, well, the one to music world. Royal Blood. Go and listen. Okay. Royal Blood. <laughs> that is all the interview questions I have for you today. This awesome. is awesome. Thank you so much for doing oh, this. Absolutely. That was so much fun. <laughs> also, fangirl dream come true. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
there. 